Alrighty, so today we're going to do a quickie trim on Lexi's little toes. And I'm probably going to throw in a overblown sanitary trim because she's uh, coming due for puppies. So I got to get rid of all the extra hair. Um, let's see, starting by feet. Uh, as usual, my dogs are always super clean before I bother starting. Um, she's got extra fuzzy feet pads. Let's see how much of this I can keep on the video. Um, I like to use a 40 blade for un 30 or 40 um, for under their feet. The 40 blade is going to be a little bit tighter in the teeth, so it's going to be less likely to catch the little sensitive areas that are um, you know, the webbing between their feet and whatnot, but at the same time, it's also the blades closer to the skin, so it's a little more dangerous if you don't have such a steady hand. Um, never want to use a 10 blade because the blades are just, or the teeth are just spread too far apart. Um, but yeah, so I like to just kind of roll the foot over and rest some of it in the palm of my hand. And on the paps, I like to try to leave the toes, the toe hair intact, but I'll take the blade under so from where the nails grow back a little ways and then if my dogs are behaving well enough sorry I mean, guys in frame is tricky come on focus there we go and then sometimes I'll come up a little bit from the outside and just bring the toe hair up a little bit hopefully so I tend to run through and do use each piece of equipment typically. So I start with the clippers, run through and shave everything. Then I like to roll it under so I can see where the toenails sit. Go a little forward. Let's see if I can just get a little bit more visual for you guys under. <laughs> run away from Bad tripod. Yeah, tripod fail. Give me a sec. <laughs> Problem with the bendy leg tripods. You don't always want to hold up. There we go. You gonna stay put? Okay, back to toes. And so, between the feet pads and basically everything that sits below the foot, I like to be rid of. Pulling my hair up to the toenails. And then I'm always really careful not to trim the stuff that wants to sit past the toenail or above the toenail. Just what's underneath. Oh, don't even. You're such a drama queen, Missy. I adore you, but you squeak too easy. Good girl. Alrighty. So. And that's basically what I want. The rest I like to finish with the scissors. Come back here. Two pads again. And when I'm working through here where it gets webby, like you can see the webbing right there between the two. So I push down and rotate away, push down and rotate away. And then sometimes I'll spread the toe a little so that I can make sure I can get the hair without having any trouble with the skin. I'll even touch that little bit away from the base of the heel. I prefer to finish all that out with the scissors, but I like to touch it in the meantime. Just to kind of set my shape and again, anything that's below the foot I want gone. So there you go. Good girl. Um, and then sanitary trim. I do prefer a 10 or so around private areas. Um, I don't like to take 
clippers into the or, um, scissors into these zones because it's just too easy. Let me see, do I have a 10 on my big clippers? Oh, girl. Oh, you know what I have? I keep forgetting I have these. Ha ha. My little guys. <laughs> my little Amazon clippers. Let's see how these hold up for this part. All right, so I'm going to highlight. See, I know this is so offensive. Find a little tushy hole. I tend to blow to expose hair often. And sometimes easier than brushing. But I basically just want to take just the littlest bit back. And I don't want to actually touch skin if I can help it, especially because I don't know how careful this particular blade is. Ideally, I usually use a 10 blade on a big set of clippers, or my adjustables go down to a 10 blade as well. Um, right, can we have belly sides? Get your belly up. Can I have belly? No, not yet. You're not giving bellies yet. You need your belly. You do need your belly. I know you love to give belly. All the way down. No? You have to put you on your belly. Can I have belly, please? All right, we'll do it the long way. Um, might need to. Nope, that works, I guess. So, if you guys can tell, I already buzzed the lower bits once because I was trying to get to where I could hear um, heartbeats. But unfortunately, today we need to get rid of everything. Um, clear her nipples. So, I'm gonna come under here. Make sure you guys are in frame. I'm gonna stay flat to her belly. And I tend to just blow the hair out of the way as I'm going. I don't want to dig the blade to her belt. No, let's just buzz that out of there. I'm sorry, honey. I don't know. Oh, beautiful hairs. I don't want the blade exactly to be what's tight to her belly. I want more the, the back of the clippers. And the blade has just the tiniest bit of lift to it. Good girl. Mm. And as you notice, I tend to use my breath a lot to get rid of unwanted hair. Let me see what I'm working on. I'll also use my force dryer a lot in that way sometimes. Good girl. Thank you, baby. Oh, all that gorgeous hair. It's brutal. Still got a nipple there. Let me take that guy out. Good girl. so much that you're going to see it from the top. So I don't want to clip exactly from the top, from the outside down. I want to clip more from the inside down. And clip everything out. Good girl. I know it's stickly. I want to feather the hair back in a way. I have to admit, these silly little cheapy Amazon clippers are a pretty nice little, a pretty nice little job. little bits there. Good girl. And can we get you over and get your belly? Oh, no, give me back feet too. Back feet, front feet, take her over. <laughs> and elbow this one for a run. Let's see if we can get you back on here. There we go. Sorry, to say. I know. I knocked phone and made noises. Come on over. Over, over. She says, no, I don't want to. Not today. Usually you're so easy to get belly up. There we go. So no nipple up there. Just this guy here. Thank you, baby.
<laughs> He's the sweetest little cute thing. You really are so good. Good girl. So yeah, just want to buzz all of this out. It's a nice little clean zone for the puppies in coming. I'm gonna take the hair away from the vulva too. Look okay, you're fine. I know it tickles. I know what's mom doing. Mom shouldn't be doing those things. No, mom shouldn't be doing those things. You're the sweetest. Alrighty, so we got a clear belly. Let's go to the scissors now. And get working on that parts. Oh, there's your gorgeous hair, baby girl. Good girl. Alrighty. Alright, you can stand back up now. Come on, up, up, up. <laughs> Just know I like belly. Scratching my belly. It's so nice. <laughs> you like naked belly scratches, huh? Are they the best kind? Just naked belly scratches are the best. You're such a dork, Lexi. All right, come on. I got to show feet. I got to show how I do your toes. Yes, I'm going to file them. Will that get you up? All right, fine. I'll file them. They're down. You stay. Uh, I got a little drum roll. Okay. Oh, that got you up. <laughs> All right. So usually once I get the hair off the bottoms, that gets rid of most of the issue. The rest of it's not too hard to hold up and out of the way. So, again, my little Amazon fine clippers, or Dremel. Yeah, it's not the right button. Let's see if we can get, nope, that's the wrong way to zoom. I wanna go in tight. And the camera is there, okay. So, I always kinda press the toenail out like a cat nail. Turn the clipper Dremel on. And then I want to Good girl. Just round it up and back. No, you're okay, Squeaky. I know. You like to squeak. Good girl. I actually switched to my bigger Dremel because I'm just more used to it. And it goes quicker. Come on, Bubba. Try one more time. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> you can't run off. No. We're doing the job. I know you don't like this job. We'll do it real fast. That's why we switched to the big Dremel, because Mom can work quicker that way. I'm more used to the angle on the Dremel bit on this one. Good girl. So it runs a little faster. It does the job a little bit quicker. Which I don't mind the job taking longer. It's just I'm more comfortable with the angles on this one. And she does have the upper dew claws. Good girl. This has a little divot in it, so I'm able to just kind of catch up in there when it's on the near side. I'll go at it that way. But anyway, as I was saying, I like to press the toe out like it's a cat claw, and then I use my other hand to balance myself. Good girl. There we are. Thank you for giving up. I know. But all of this stuff needs to be done. Whenever they give me grief about this, my <laughs> remind them that the rule of the house is no papillons on the couch or laps with long toenails. <laughs> house rules. Again, she's still got yeah, nice close toenails because I do them about every week or so. Keeping the length from getting long on them. So there's not a whole lot to do. So if I draw one over so you guys just get a chance to see. There's like practically nothing beyond the pink. Now the thick pink is where the blood vessel is and that just a little bit off the tip is all I need to take to get them where they need to be because they don't have any more room in that. Good girl. All right. So dremeling is done. Next, let me try one of my other little hot things. Let's see. A lot of dog show people have such a big thing about slicker brushes. So I have used to using them all the time for my regular grooming um, client dogs, 
and that's just what I'm used to as far as trimming feet. But I like to brush everything down, all the way down, straight down, and then take a pair of straight scissors. Well, um, not bending shears, sorry. Uh, solid blade scissors. I almost always use something with a curvature just because, again, it's what I'm used to using. So, let's see if I can keep this in frame. There we go. Good girl. I'm just going to trim back. Come here, Vince. There we go. Good girl. So, trim all the sides. And again, basically just everything that wants to sit below the foot, except for the point and the toe. And it's harder than it should be to keep this in frame. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. There. So once I have everything that hangs off the bottom trimmed for the most part, take the foot back up, right, brush everything up a little bit. Including the point, just kind of touch it all up. So you can see it's all brushed up. Then I take a pair of thinning shears and I just kind of work over the top. I like something relatively fine teeth with that little bit of second cutting edge so that they cut a smaller amount at a time and it gives a really soft finish. Good girl. So first time through, looks about like that. And then I brush the leg up. And I go back and forth on whether I do this with thinning shears or straight shears. I kind of play with everything, but you want that to just kind of have a straight line up to a little bulb at the back of their foot. So that when the foot goes to set down, it helps to set the line, the straightness in the line of their leg. So the difference between that being done and not being done is how much neater the leg looks lower leg looks, which is that little bit more trimmed. And she's already starting to get a really good shape to that hair foot, so usually from here, <laughs> stay standing. Good girl. And pick up one foot, I'm going to keep the other foot firmly on the ground, and then I just kind of trim up off the ground, and then when I go through here, I kind of lay my scissors a little bit, oops, sorry guys, trying to keep everything in frame. So the scissor along here kind of upright, and then as I get to the toe, I round it back down and just kind of follow the table to trim that toe off the table. Good girl. And then we go around to the other side, try to keep that in frame. There you go, perfect. And I just kind of snip, 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 follow the line, and then just kind of lose my uprightness to the scissors. So they're really upright through here, and then I let them curve over a little bit and lay down a bit before I trim that. Yeah, it's looking pretty stinking good so far. I'm still not exactly in love. So, the part I don't like is that how much is still standing up off the top of the foot. So, I take my little slicky brush, brush it up a little bit, get a little side view. Good girl. I just take these and just the point. So, I'm not getting in there very deeply. I'm kind of trimming. Like, I'm pretending there's a shape I'm trimming about a half an inch off of the foot. So that I'm not getting tight into the foot, I'm just kind of shaping out that toe a little bit. And you see that's already looking some better? It actually looks a ton better. I'm very happy with that. Yeah. And I've got a little guy that's sticking out there. So sometimes if I don't get the toes shaved tight enough, come up in here and just that back or sometimes I might go back to the clippers depends on the dog but yeah Done. and then I might want just to do nope <laughs> and I always work um my not my my honed instinct when working with scissors around dogs is that if I go to take a snip and anything moves at all the dog adjusts whatsoever 
I open and pull back. Um, just something you kind of want to teach your set in as a, a base reaction. But yeah, so such a neater foot compared to the other one. Okay. And pretty simple to work on. Anyway, next, you're so sweet. <laughs> Aren't you just the sweetest? He's a good girl. Yes, you are. Alrighty. Um, but yeah, so I'll go finish out her feet and let her go find her bed and go hide. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Bye, Lexi. You could say bye, Lexi. Lexi. She didn't want to see you. Oh, she did go.